YouTubers, Sandra here and welcome back to my channel again. Today's video, as you can see from the description, is one dress and how I'm going to style it in four different ways. So let's get started. <laughs> First of all, I have never bought from this brand before and the brand is made well. You may have heard them, you may have not, I'm just new to that brand. I didn't realise that they did plus sizes, but they do. And the reviews from this particular brand are very, very good. The clothing is supposed to be made very well. And um, so let's get into the dress. <laughs> this particular dress that I ordered, I've got to read my notes, is called, it's from the Madewell Plus section. And it is the silk button front swing dress in feline floral and I chose it in a size 20 because there's no stretch I actually checked the measurements against their size guide and they said to go with an 18 but when it came the 20 fit nice and there was just a little bit of room left so I'm glad I ordered it in the 20 this is not a cheap dress <laughs> um, and it runs at $158. I assume because it, the brand is made well and it is a silk dress. So I intend getting a lot of wears out of it and a lot of different looks. Let me show you the dress. So the dress itself is extremely lightweight very very lightweight and it's a silk shell with an underlayer so you can't really see through it and this dress I actually decided to go outside my box of comfort because this is a knee or just I believe it's just above knee length and normally I like things that are midi or, or maxi so this was a big change for me to step outside of my um, my comfort zone. I like the fact that it has very lightweight sleeves and they're not long. The pattern itself is a grid pattern and it has these lovely autumnal colours and what I wanted to do with this dress was be able to wear it in spring, in summer, in fall and winter because for this much money I I pretty much feel that I have to get and I do have to get a lot of wear out of it it has a zip off the back but I found I could just pop it on and then it has these buttons as you can see they're covered in the same fabric or running all the way down the dress flirts out a little at the bottom and it has an under bust and what I like about it I don't like the price but what I like about it is that where the bust area is this will be cutting across it's actually shaped under and you'll see it when it's on the feeling I got when I when I opened the box and I looked at it was that it gives me that I felt like it's got that French chic kind of look I haven't worn it yet this will be my first try on wearing it um, yeah <laughs> so we'll see how it goes and what I'm going to do is style it with some more cost effective or budget friendly items. One of the items that I recently picked up is I've been looking for a long line, thin, thinner um, knit cardigan that would be the same length as the dress. And this particular one I got from Amazon and I haven't worn this one either. It is from the ARC Studio and it's called the Women's Solid Front Stretch Long Line Long Sleeve Open Front Cardigan. I ordered it in the 1X in a mustard because that's the colour I was looking for, a full colour. So it's not going to get me, so I'm not going to be too hot. And it literally is an open front cardigan, goes all the way down, has some nice pockets. It is very nice and lightweight, and they have a, a bunch of colours in these. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm going to pair this with 
this dress. This is the tag on it. I'm not sure if you can see that good, but it looks pretty well made. I went over it and yeah, it's a nice, it's not a fall weight, but it will be for me because I'm always hot, as you know. And the last thing that I got was a pair of long boots because that's why I went with a shorter dress. I wanted to start wearing some of the longer, the longer boots in the fall and I already own these in black and taupe so this year I went back for the tan colour and they are long line stretch they have a nice bottom on them a little zip up the side and the little bit that goes at the back and I have quite wide calves my calves are 17 and a half to 18 and these these are very stretchy these fit me well and they do have a bunch of colours. I will tell you where these boots were. Well, obviously they were Amazon. I will put these in the description below as well. It's called RF Room of Fashion. Women's stretchy over the knee riding boots. I got them in the tan suede size 9 which is my regular size and they are 45 99 there are other brands on there that are a lot cheaper though and I do have a burgundy pair for like 20 odd dollars so that's I'll show you my boot haul I will do a video on my shoe haul um, but I, but what I know is that going by last year's black ones they lasted well I always scotch guard all of my um, all of my boots that are not you know I want them to last a long time so I do scotch guard them and I will certainly um, do a video on my boots and shoes that I have in my minimalist closet and how they pair well with my <laughs> with my items of clothing so okay so there's only three items of clothing there but this is mainly about the dress and what I'm going to be doing is pairing the dress with things that I've got out of my closet and like I say more budget friendly from Walmart and Old Navy because you know <laughs> that's an ex <laughs> I can't get over how expensive that dress is but it is a natural fibre I'm going to make it last a long time and hopefully you like the look of it <sighs> on to the try the and first look now. is my summer look and I've just paired the dress with Birkenstocks and my bare legs which I am trying to love my legs this year fits nice at the back and it's nice and roomy and I'm wearing it with my cotton boy shorts also the yellow headband that I picked up from Target the close-up of the material shows it's very nice lightweight and fits well under the bust the second look is the dress with the long line cardigan which fits nice and I've paired it with some sneakers from Old Navy and the yellow headband This is a look I just wear going out doing grocery shopping or just a general everyday look. This third look I've paired the dress with a nice little sweater over the top of the dress and some ankle booties. I didn't have any to hand but I would probably wear some opaque black tights with this look and my black headband. The last look is layered with a thin tee that I picked up from Walmart and the long boots. Thanks for watching guys!